Welcome to Lesson Plan 2. Now in Lesson Plan 2, we're going to talk about maintenance of the guard, and we're going to talk about where we need to be on top and where we need to be on bottom. Um, Athena is my partner. She's going to help me out today. Can you please go down for me, Athena? We're going to address where we need to be on top right now. My opponent has a, a locked guard. We're going to talk about top. We'll go over bottom in a second. I should be on my toes. My knees should be bent at a 45 degree angle and my feet should follow that 45 degree angle so she can't hook my feet. If my feet don't follow that, she can open her guard and hook my feet. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep them at the angles of my knee. I'm gonna keep my center of my weight back and down. I should really never leave this position. Now, my hands come to the torso. I never want my hands on the mat. My hands are on the torso. My elbows are going to be back, not in, back, because I'm holding them in position with my body. As I'm here, my opponent will move off angle, and what I will do is I will follow angle, because I need to always stay in perfect position. This is very important. That's where I need to be on top. Her guard is low, I'm on my toes. My butt is on my heels. My legs are open at a 45 degree angle. My hands are squared and on the hips and torso of my partner as I, I'm staying square with the body. As a bottom person, I'm going to want to just reverse engineer the top stuff. If Athena is my guard, if she wants my guard low, I want my guard high. How I get my guard high is several ways. If her hands are on my stomach, I can use my hands to windshield wiper her hands off, and I can come up and pull down. From this position, I'm going to escape my butt onto one side, normally my underhook side, and I'm gonna step on the hip. Now, I can release this underhook because I've, I've wedged space in there where she can't get it back. And as I do that, I'm gonna scoot out the other side and place high. Then I'm gonna bring my legs up and up. And now I have a high guard. This allows me the ability to pivot for arm bars at a much faster and better rate. Plus, it allows me to move my partner. So in my guard, I want my opponent's head down, I want their posture broken, and I want my legs up around the higher chest armpit area to where I, it allows me for more mobility. So here's a drill. This is gonna be your first drill. It's, I have it here, she's gonna place her hands on my face. She's gonna work up to get into perfect position. Nice, where she's holding back. Now she should be on her toes, but it feels like she is, she's just small. So now she's got perfect position. What do I gotta do? I'm gonna windshield wipe her out, reach up and grab, scoot out, step on her hip, scoot out, step on her hip, lock my guard high, have a high attack. She's gonna take her hands off the mat and onto my face, back out like a turtle. She can also pull the hands off of the head as they're holding. As she comes up, she repositions. She makes sure my legs come from a high position to a low position. And now she locks it again. What I would do, would chill, pull down, scoot, lock, scoot, lock, lock it up. She's gonna come, push away. Nice. Lesson plan two, part one.